For today's quiz, I've got three key rings, and they're just uh, made out of steel, and I've got this magnet. And if I were to hover this magnet above and then lower it down onto those key rings and bring it back up, which of those key rings would be lifted? Here's what your quiz looks like today. I'll hold that up right now. As always, mark your answer as completely as possible and list your level of confidence. Typical student responses are the ones that you would imagine. Most will end up saying, look, the north side, that's going to be the more positive side, is going to pick up the key ring. Others will say, no, 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 all magnets have two poles, so the north and the south will pick this up. And others will say, it's a magnet, magnets will pick up all three. So those are the typical responses that we get. Be sure to put your comment below and then hit like and subscribe. All right, let's actually do this. Let's lower our magnet down and we end up getting our north and our south lifting up. And the middle of the magnet isn't very magnetic. We like to say magnets are dipoles. That is, they always have two sides, a north and a south. Both of those are magnetic. And we say the middle doesn't really have the magnetic qualities of those two sides. That's partially because our magnetic fields emerge from the north and end in the south. We'll go into greater depth about that, but that'll be enough for today. All right, that's our quiz. Thank you for watching another Idealized Science Institute video. We are a nonprofit organization. If you like what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want, leave a comment below. It's helpful to us. If you can financially support us, go to our website and hit the donate button. If you can't, simply by sharing these videos with other teachers and students in your life will be helpful. While at our website, you'll find that we have our Idealized Science Institute book that'll help you engage your students in dialogic discourse. There you'll also find we have a podcast where we break down educational research. We also have long form lessons. If you're a teacher, you can watch these and go in the very next day and enact these. Along with this, we also have many other resources, including more quick quizzes. So thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.